Hey y'all, there it is, Stashio here, and I'm uh, back on the old Hearthstone account. Now this is not a free to, I'm no longer free to play, but I do, the Tightwad Mage deck is still definitely free to play, and I'm keeping it that way. However, I'm trying to rank up, okay, I just started playing the game, and I really need to rank up, and, uh, you know, so I invested some of my YouTube earnings, thank you Castle Clash people, yes, I'll keep doing Castle Clash videos, I'm doing at least three of those a week, so no worries there, guys, but I still really like this game, it's really strategic, and it's uh, something that's easier for me to play than uh, Magic the Gathering Online, which is a game... I have played in my past for quite a long time. Anyways, let's get to the deck here. This is an interesting deck. This is... I haven't really seen this before in terms of looking online or anything. Uh, it's just... This is not like a, quote, net deck. This is... Um, this is a little bit unique, I guess we'll say. Let's just go with that for right now. It's unique. <laughs> uh, what it is, is it's a Paladin Murloc deck. So it's a Rush deck. And your goal in life is to smash into the face and kill the other opponent as quickly as you can. And now, I actually ran the whole Murloc set, every single Murloc, including the Legendary, once who have all the Murlocs. What surprised me one day is that old Murkai just appears. You just get old Murkai once you have at least one of every Murloc. And... Leroy Jenkins, uh, someone asked me that. I was playing one of my subscribers, and if you do, by the way, I'm Dirty1561, if you want to look me up, that's my public ID, if you want to friend me, I, do have, I don't know if there's a limit to the number of people, but I definitely have a bunch of people here, and you're welcome to uh, hook up. Anyways, um, so, this deck I created, I, I tried it with a lot of different... A lot of different heroes. I tried it with. I actually started with Hunter, and then I switched to. I did it with Priest. I did it with Mage, and did it with Shaman, and then I came to Paladin. And the reason I like Paladin is one specific card. So what happens on a rush deck? What was happening to me in my testing is that I was really fading out. You know, I'd lay out my, my whole hand. I get them down to ten life, and I faded out. So I switched to Mage. I'm like, well, I'll fade out, but they're on. There are four life, ten life, six life. I can toss them a fireball and we're good to go. But still, it just wasn't working. But then I saw this card, Divine Favor. Draw cards until you have as many in hand as your opponent. So if you lay out all your cards, you have no cards in hand, and you're playing against some control mage deck that has eight cards in their hand, you're going to fill up your whole hand. That whole hand is going to give you enough boost, specifically with True Silver Champion. Which is a weapon that's a 4-2 and whenever you attack you gain life, so that'll also help bring your life back up and that's just a... But basically, you know, let's just go ahead and play it. I have ranked up and yes, I got a lot of dust and I'm... What can you do? And... I'll create a free-to-play account later. You know, basically a pure free-to-play account at some, at some point in the future that's separate from this one. But I just need to rank up, guys. I just need to. I just, it's just, I have to. Now, depending on who you're playing, now here I'm playing Shaman, sometimes I would toss back that Divine Favor and just keep low casting cost, but when you're playing something controlly, like Shaman, you, you're, these are good. This is a good hand right here. Now, this, also another reason I like Paladin as a hero is all their secrets are one casting cost, and this secret right here, Noble Sacrifice, defends a protects your Murlocs, basically. And there we got the Leroy Jenkins. And so we actually have a decently strong first turn here. I'm actually not going to do a double. I'm not going to do anything too fancy. I'm just going to drop the old 2-1 Murloc and be done. Second turn, I can maybe do something a little bit fancy. I could drop down the Bluegill Warrior and the Noble Sacrifice protecting them. That's probably what I'll do now based on this. I don't see any other better alternative than that, and I do want to protect my guys here. So this this secret will get, will get attaches up here. Opponent doesn't know what it is. If they do attack me, it just switches targets. It switches, instead of targeting my Murloc, they're going to be targeting this 2-1 that will appear out of nowhere, basically. So, all right, we're smashing into the face here for four damage. And let's end that turn. As you can see here, I'm starting... I'm actually already starting to fade. You know, I got two creatures out. They're not very tough. There's no buff Murlocs 
in my hand right now. And they're going to buff this egg, and then they're going to swing in. Now watch what happens with the secret. Boom! Secret's up, and then they're going to switch. It's going to attack It's going to attack this egg, and then his egg won't get crushed. Now he can crush that egg next turn, likely. But I defended for one turn. Oh my lord, that one turn is crucial. Because that right there could have been the game, how I played that. If I would have done that any different, I very easily could have lost just because of that. Now, people always ask me, I mean, why do you always... Here's the thing, you're almost always attacking. It's kind of like a... It's sort of like a... Pretty easy to play deck, that's for sure. And... And we got the Leroy Jenkins, remember that six damage coming in his face, so... That's definitely something... We can do next turn, so we're just going to fill the whole board up, and at some point... At this point, Shaman can has a lot of global destruction effects. They can two for one. They can take out all my creatures right now with one of their lightning spells. So let's just see what they got here. They're going to definitely crack their egg and take out one of my Murlocs. It's okay. And then they're going to Feral Spirit. That summons two, two threes with taunt. Those are somewhat annoying. Because I do need to take care of anything with taunt. But look at this. Perfect top deck consecration. Or we can actually start pinging these things out and, and take care of this. I really can't get... I can only do two... Ugh, that's not so good. But... And they got four cards in their hand, so it doesn't really help me right now. A nice, nice reason for Leroy, too, is that if I cast Leroy and then consecrate on the same turn, when you have eight mana, that's always funny. But at this point, I almost need to Consecrate so that I can get them down in health. Enough for my little Murlocs to take them out. I will take out quite a few of theirs, though. But they're going to take out mine if I attack, and that's where it's... This is like, oh, Shaman is a tough matchup for this deck. And some of the decks that are normally tough matchups, like, like uh, Warlock Zoo and a Miracle Rogue... Those are actually easier match matchups because you're just racing the clock here. Here I'm going to die and it's not going to be fun. So, but I got to clear these guys and it is painful, but you got to do it. And there's just no other way about it. If he's got that card again, this is I'm I'm it's going to be painful. <laughs> Very painful. Manatee totem is also painful, but not as painful. It's not literally painful. He's got five cards in his hand here too, so we can start filling up the board now. But this is a good one. True Silver Champion to take care of his little egg catch Nerubian fellow. We got one mana sitting there which can't do anything with. So We're going to take this guy out and heal up too. We're going to call that the end of the turn. And he sees really controlling and he's going to start laying down monsters. So this is going to start to get to be a hard matchup. I only got him down 10. And, uh, but I got the Leroy, that's 6 damage. Here's a 4-5, but it doesn't have taunt, so I'm not too worried about that. Not worried about that big beefy dude right there. And now I'm starting to get some, he's got 1, 2, three, 6 cards. And I got 6 mana here. And this could be a turn to Leroy. 6, not quite, it's just a turn to lay out, basically, and swing in. It's just to give him something to mess around with. So battle cards, you gotta look at your battle card. Colite Seer buffs other Murlocs, and so you don't want to lay down Murloc first. You want to lay down this guy who puts out two Murlocs, and then you want to cut down, bring this guy out. And now, normally, you might think, I'll oh, swing in and do four damage, and that's what I would normally say, but if he lays down a big taunt creature next turn, I'm going to need to smash it, and so I can't really do anything else besides this. I'm just putting pressure on the board, and he's going to attack these guys and take them out, obviously, or cast spells, or do some global effects, but my next turn is going to be one of two things. If he swings in at me and doesn't really do anything... I'm just going to come in with Leroy and all my heroes, and I'm going to hit him with my thing, and uh, I might be close to death. Might be close to kill shot there. Now, if he puts out... If he d is more controlling and just starts pinging off my creatures and, you know, lays a, lays a minion down or something, uh, then I'm going to Divine Favor. Draw my whole hand up, build the whole board up again, and repeat. 
So it's a pretty interesting deck, and and it's been helping me climb the rain, ranks, actually. Probably last video I was, like, ranked 19 or 20, and come up five since then. Nothing super fast, nothing, but it's not too slow either, and... And yeah, when this guy dies, it looks like another 4-5 comes out, so that's not, uh, that's not good for me. <laughs> he's really thinking about that lightning bolt, like, he's really contemplating that. To me, it doesn't matter, I, I just want to distract him, it's like misdirection. It's like a magician's misdirection is all I'm doing. I don't want him to get the taunter. Sweet, no taunt! Oh, he did get the spell damage, though. Haunted Creeper, I'm okay with that. Oh, sweet, left me a murloc. All right. This is the smash face turn. Seven mana, that means I can do both of these. Leroy Jenkins plus Divine Favor plus smash in the face. This will be six damage Leroy, one damage Murloc. That's seven plus four damage here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. He'll be at nine life, and he'll be able to swing in for four, five, six, seven in on me last turn. And that is acceptable to me. So that is what I'm going to do. Again, that was Leroy Jenkins. This. Attack. Attack. And attack. We care about one thing, the face. Oh, I shouldn't take a sense spell Divine Favor. I can Divine Favor next turn, though, and uh, summon up one more guy for distraction. Remember, distract. Yeah, I did play this on Noble Sacrifice, because he's going to... If he swings in wrong, if he swings in with his 4-3 on Leroy, it's going to hit this m secret. Which, okay, he wasn't that dumb. <laughs> he, he did that right, guys. Now he can swing in. And then his be his uh, death rattle will go off. So at least he did he didn't mess up totally there. But that is the sort of thing that you do, do see pretty common. That is the sort of thing I did in my first few videos. <laughs> so many play mistakes, guys. Come on, what's it? I just love this. It's just I just love playing aggro decks, aggro rush decks because you really don't need to think. And this deck is especially fun to play because the creatures. Like if he wipes my whole board right now. I'm okay with that. Like, I don't panic over that because this card right here, Divine Favor, is going to fill up my hand and I could easily have a win condition. I could easily have a win condition in my hand because I, I have some guys that have charge and I could have a bunch of buff out and I could do that and I might have my weapon that does four damage. True silver, that is. Now what? Is he just going to leave me with Leroy or what? I mean, come on, man. Hook me up. There we go. Yeah, he's not terrible. And he only did a couple damage to me, so he really had no pressure on me whatsoever. As we were Drake, again, he's got no time right now. He's got no mana. His turn's pretty much done. So, okay, this is good. This guy's coming out right now. And now, here comes this beast. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. I'm going to be drawing quite a few cards here. Holy cow. Not any charge, though. So he can do 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage to me. That is a lot. I can shield. Oh, Murkai. Oh, next turn is definitely death. Oh, Divine shield, too. Uh, I, I kind of like this play, and again, he can swing for a lot, but I think he's smarter than that, and he'll start to focus on my heroes here. I'm sorry, my minions. <laughs> oh, Doomhammer, that ruined my day. Oh, geez, and a rock biter. That gives him a five? Yeah, five. Ouch, he's going to swing in. Eighteen. What's he got? Times two. Thirteen. Six. Four. Oh, lightning storm, you got me. Yeah, that's a tough match. This is a really, really hard matchup. Not a great match to show off the deck that I have taken up to about rank 12 now. But hey, I show you wins and I show you losses. As always, keep it dirty and dirty up.